Welcome back to FunQuest. Today, we're going to build an elephant toothpaste volcano. Volcano complete, it's time for the fun part. This experiment involves hydrogen peroxide, so be sure to wear gloves and protective eyewear. Begin with a large container. Pour in a half cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Next, squirt in a healthy amount of dish soap. Add plenty of food coloring. Stir gently and place off to the side while you put together the next solution. You'll need a packet of yeast, then mix in three tablespoons of warm water. Stir thoroughly for about a minute. You're now ready to create a volcanic eruption. Begin by pouring in the hydrogen peroxide solution. Oh, don't forget the dinosaurs. And finally, Swiftly but carefully pour in the yeast solution. Now, the little volcano was cool, but I know how we can make it even cooler. A bigger volcano with a bigger eruption. With a larger volcano, we'll need a bigger chemical reaction, so we'll need some different ingredients. For our catalyst, we'll be using potassium iodide instead of yeast. Mix in the crystals until they no longer dissolve. In a cup of water, this may take a couple tablespoons. In order to create a greater chemical reaction, we'll be using 35% hydrogen peroxide instead of 3%. This liquid should be handled by an adult as it can cause damage to the skin and eyes. As before, mix in plenty of dish soap and food coloring and stir gently. And of course, our volcano's not complete until we have the dinosaurs. And now we're ready to simulate our volcanic eruption. Start by pouring in the hydrogen peroxide solution, followed by the potassium iodide catalyst. quite as epic as I'd hoped for. So we're gonna try it again. This time I'm gonna use a two liter bottle. Hopefully that'll increase the pressure so that it comes out with a lot more intensity. I removed the three inch PVC from the center and replaced it with a two liter bottle. I cut a little off the top of the bottle so that I'd have a wider opening to quickly dump in the potassium iodide. Now, let's talk a little bit about the science that's going on here. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, very similar to water, except that it has an extra oxygen molecule. 
that extra oxygen atom is released in the form of gas by adding a catalyst. Here, that catalyst is potassium iodide, which rapidly breaks down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. The oxygen gas released in this reaction is captured in the soap, producing a massive amount of foam. So there you have it, an elephant toothpaste volcano. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time on FunQuest. Ha, 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 ha.